fantastic view over the valley there at that um, viaduct and a very annoying car alarm down there. You can hear a weir down there to the left, but when you turn around here, what you've got is that. That is, well, this is Nesborough Castle. You can actually go into the keep and walk around. Unfortunately, it's closed at the moment, but um, the girl did say if it's dried a bit in about half an hour, they might open it. it covers a large area. You've got the central hall there, which I believe is used as a courthouse. You've got some other bits around there. We'll walk around this bit here. As you can see, it's a very commanding position up here. It looks like two rivers join down there by the weir, if you can hear it. I mean, that is a magnificent keep. Something that's not as magnificent um, is this here. If anybody knows what that is, I would say that's the base of a guardrobe, which is basically a toilet. So you'd be sat up there somewhere on a wooden plank with a hole in it, and you'd go plop, plop, and it would all come down here. And then it would be somebody's job to scoop it away. If it's built over a moat or something, it would just wash into the moat. But here, I think it would be somebody's job to actually remove it. I think there was a picture of it on that sign. Let's go around this side. Very strong commanding position on that side. As you can see from this side, there's a very strong tower there on an outer wall. gatehouse there, drum towers. I think that's the east gate as it's called, or called itself. As you can see quite steep down that side, ditch would have been built up there on this side it may have been a moat but it's not there anymore due to the built up um, areas not sure what that is but it could be a cannonball <laughs> hit it the smaller stones there I believe this was involved in the English Civil War Go down this way. And this here is a sally port. Unfortunately, you can't go down it. It says it's one of two sally ports. A sally port is basically somewhere where if you're being sieged by an enemy, you have an entrance or an exit that you can get out of to attack them. Possibly ride out with cavalry. Airplane flying over. 
over this old building here this is a used as a courthouse for a while the middle's used as a bowling lawn now oh somebody's over there possibly opening it we're not going to go all the way down there, but um, I think that gentleman they may be opening it. I'm not sure. You can see how far down it is from this side. Unless you're an expert climber, you're not getting up that side to attack this place. I think this is newer walls. There's only one actual river. I thought there was another one from here, but there isn't. There's evidence of more stonework down there. Might be where the Sally Port came out. That's the war memorial for the world wars, etc. As you can see, there's the river and the viaduct. Well, they've opened the upper floor here for the castle and the dungeon, so managed to get up here. Nice drop down there. See up there, I assume that's the Royal Standard. It's got the three lions on it, which are in fact leopards, not lions. So when you hear the song, uh, three lions on their chest, what they should be singing is three leopards on the chest. The lions rampant, they're actually leopards rampant. See down there. Take a wander down to the dungeon. Down to Byron's staircase, which is not this way round, so that you can fight. Down in the dungeon, which used to be the cold store, because obviously it's very cold down here, but then it was used as a prison in conjunction. That's probably where they dropped the um, goods and things down. Yeah, if you can get to Knaresborough Castle and get a good look around this bit, it's worth a little visit.